There are some new details concerning the gunman who attempted to assassinate former president and convicted felon Donald Trump at a Pennsylvania rally on Saturday. Thomas Matthew Crooks reportedly had been searching out President Biden and the DNC in his search history, in addition, of course, to uh, uh, Donald Trump's speech and the RNC. Now, the FBI released these new details Wednesday to members of Congress, revealing that in addition to pictures of Biden and Trump, the 20-year-old had also searched for FBI Director Christopher Wray, Attorney General Merrick Garland, and a member of the British royal family. Hmm. Uh, now, I'm not really sure exactly what that means, uh, whether or not these were targets uh, of his, but it could be that he was looking for a political target near him, and he didn't really care what party that politician uh, is from. And it turns out that Donald Trump just happened to be the closest high-profile politician who was doing a speech about 20 minutes away from him. So now, we get this from the FBI searching through Crook's possessions, uh, which included two phones and at least one laptop. Now, they said they didn't really find any proof of strong political views in any you know particular direction. That said, he is a registered Republican. He did give once 15 bucks to a progressive uh, organization. And according to classmates, though, he was a strong conservative. So, in fact, um, it, he was somebody who was often bullied, uh, left alone uh, for his, uh, you know, with his conservative views, uh, you know, members, uh, which were, again, members of his class, which were on the more liberal side, would often be against Matt, uh, Mr. Mr. Crooks. Uh, and, and that's one of the things that one of his former classmates, uh, classmates remembered most about him is that, well, there he, uh, there he is. Uh, he's over by himself stick into his conservative beliefs against everyone else. Uh, so there's more. Uh, Crooks had received several packages over the past few months, marked hazardous material. Federal law enforcement also found three explosive devices uh, connected to him, two in his car, one in his house. Two in his car used a radio control system normally used in commercial fireworks. Now, it also appears that Crooks had acted alone, which doesn't surprise me. Again, as I mentioned, he was a loner, he was often bullied, uh, which would also explain why his phone, uh, one of his phone searches was for a major depressive disorder. So, look, that tells me maybe the motive was more of, I'm just going to cause as much damage as possible to any political target that I can find, a political target of opportunity, and then do suicide by cop. I don't really know. That's my speculation, right? Uh, that said, there is, of course, misinformation going around, uh, speculation, mainly, of course, from the right wing, who first <clears throat> claimed it was, uh, you know, it, it, oh, it, uh, probably a member of uh, uh, the left wing uh, spurred on by, ordered by Donald, uh, uh, I'm sorry, by Joe Biden to take out Donald Trump. Mm, that wasn't true. Then they switched to, uh, uh, well, okay, but well, well it, maybe it was a, a, cri a critical race theory uh, of DEI, uh, and that's why uh, Trump was almost killed. And then, of course, they come out with a new conspiracy theory spread by people like Alex Jones uh, that it was a trans shooter, which, of course, is not true. Aaron Reed uh, had uh, it has debunked this, so this is actually a trans woman named Rose uh, and is uh, not Thomas Matthew Crooks. That is not the same person. But of course, members of the far right are like, oh, see, a trans person. Uh, we're, we're just going to blame the whole thing on them. But the, no, the, he was a he's a registered Republican and that is a completely different person named Rose. Who, by the way, is like, well, at least they found a cute picture of me. Well, there you go. Taking this uh, all in stride, which, by the way, Rose, very much alive. So, I mean, there's that. But uh, again, <clears throat> here's the thing about this, okay? Th this shooting could be the most American story ever. Uh, I mean, it's a lone, lone wolf, cis 
white guy who is getting bullied, is very conservative, right? Uh, and instead of being able to get mental health care for a major depressive disorder, this kid is, is just is like, well, it's easier for me to get a gun and act out on my worst impulses. Because in America, only in America, is it easier for you to get a high-powered weapon than it is for you to get health care, <laughs> okay? Uh, and th th this person then goes to try to shoot a former president to make a statement. I mean, again, it, this says a lot about our culture, okay? It says a lot about young men in America, especially young white men in America, uh, that, there is a, that there is a crisis, okay? I mean, who's doing the violence? It's young, right-wing white men. That's, that's doing the violence with easy access to weapon and no health care. So, I mean, if, if we're, if we're going to look at actually doing solutions, because, you know, that's what I'm most interested in, okay, in, in solving these issues and preventing uh, violence from, uh, you know, against uh, anybody, okay? Um, if you're actually interested in the solutions, you might want to start there. You might want to start with, hey, uh, why don't we have more uh, mental health? Uh, why don't we have less access to guns? Uh, you know, wh why don't we have, uh, you know, help for people? Why don't we have help for the, you know, uh, people's culture and, and, and just to prevent things like this from happening? Why don't we look at doing that instead of acting after the fact? But uh, look, we have one side that is interested in doing solutions and apparently the other side interested in doing whatever political, you know, buzzwords uh, and, and, and blaming whatever political side that they don't like for these kinds of tragedies and near tragedies. Remember, somebody did die. Uh, yes, uh, somebody who was a, a massive Trump supporter was killed as a result of the actions of this, uh, of, of this uh, young man. And you know what? It, it would have been so much better to prevent this from happening in the first place instead of trying to pin the blame on innocent people uh, or the uh, critical race or whatever uh, you want to try to pin it on uh, the right wingers. Okay. So I'm just saying we should be looking for solutions and prevention above anything else. But I forget we would do that if we lived in a rational world, which clearly we don't. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.